UK. So you're gonna love the accent in just a second. Just get ready. So you've got a TV personality yourself. So I, I want you to just kind of talk. Talk about what you've been through, what life is about for you in the UK. Okay, so in the UK, there was a fitness channel that was on Sky, which is our, our, our big fitness channel was called the Active Channel. So for about 10 years, I was a presenter, a fitness presenter on that. Yeah which got like a lot of audience. It was before the days of Instagram, because I'm not that young. <laughs> hey, you, you can't tell, it looks fabulous. Can't tell, it's a photo. <laughs> so yeah, so I got into that, and then unfortunately I had a tragic motorbike accident. Yeah. That paralyzed me from my neck down. I was in hospital for a long time where I couldn't move anything but the eyeballs. And had to rely on people to take me to the toilet and want me to scratch my nose and stuff. Yeah. But eventually I got movement back, and I got myself back out of out of hospital and had lots of operations and I had to live a terrible life where I moved back in with my mum which is bad when you're like in your thirties <laughs> and then uh, she had to take me to the toilet and wipe my bum now when you're little that's okay but when you're 30 you don't want to be swinging your tackle at your mum you know what I'm saying <laughs> hey that's a mom's love though only a mom can do that you know <laughs> that's incredible but such an incredible story and you know we we were both talking earlier about how much musculature you have coming from being completely paralyzed, not being able to move your eyes. And to me, it just shows your determination, your resiliency, and being able to work back from not being able to do anything on your own to being able to now get up on stage yeah. in a standard bodybuilding world championship type situation. So talk a little bit too about what you do for a living and why you chose that profession. So, yeah, so from being kind of known on TV and then people witnessing the injury, uh, I then, I got back into training and gave myself a goal of getting back on stage and winning Mr. Universe, which I'd won before, but it's a big title in Europe. So I came... So how many times have you won it? Three times. Three times. Yeah, three times. So I come back from that and people, then social media developed and people saw the story and a lot of other people who were at home like what needed an operation or had had an operation yeah. or a tragic injury and they'd almost give up or in some cases had yeah. and they reached out to me to ask you know it's almost like a role model in a way of how yeah. did I do it and I basically started coaching a lot of people in their unfortunate circumstances into getting back into their best life yeah. on stage or just back to work or out being reliant on others and it was like hugely rewarding but then after about three years of getting past that myself i then broke my own back again like so originally i was paralyzed from the neck down and that was from the motorbike that accident that was from the motorbike accident i had all my arms and, and hips replated like the bionic man you know yeah and then about uh, three years later i got into strong man we had a strong man competition and i broke my back doing a medley of four events and was rushed to hospital and then I was back in hospital again with a broken back and I had to go through that whole like procedure a second time round. But here I am still. I know, sorry. Bit. And how old? How young? How young? <laughs> can uh, Dean, can we get a little uh, zoom down on these thighs? I got We gotta get a little a thigh. So my favorite thing to do with these boys are these massive thighs. So we get a little thigh slap. So I've asked Neil if he would take his thigh and you're gonna make it real loose shake it, no muscle, and then you're going to hit it real hard I and flex that. every muscle in there. I can do that, yeah. Swing! <laughs> it's got every piece of that. I'm like, two broken backs and you got that? <laughs> That's so awesome. That was the hardest thing. Yeah. Just training legs, obviously, with a broken back. Yeah. But little by little, you can achieve a lot of your heads where, you know, you've got a goal and your head's in the right spot. Yeah, I, you've got an incredible outlook on life, it sounds like, and Every person that you've touched in here has talked about how just fun and loving you are, so I think that's an incredible person. Oh, no, I ain't got me wrong. <laughs> they don't know me at all. <laughs> I'm like the big old boy with the kind personality. And then real quick, you also, you don't only online coach, you also do a little bit in the aesthetics, you said, as well, too. Yeah, well, I own a shop. It's not really my thing, although yeah. it looks like I've had a lot right of hair, right? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a business investment, really, okay. but I do, I own, I own a shop, I manage it. Uh, but I've, I've just come away from owning two gyms. Okay. So I sold them just before the lockdown, just by luck. Yeah. So I got out of that lucky, like God was looking down on me, yeah. like, you know, for the right time. Saying the prayers. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I got out of the gym industry after 15 years, which I loved, but it ran its course for me. Yeah. Um, and now I do online coaching because that's a lot more rewarding, like looking after people one to one. Yep. Yeah. Hey, well, you're incredible. I'm so excited to see what happens later today. Oh, yeah. uh, already three world champions. You're already a world champion. So congratulations. Thanks for coming to Texas and letting Anytime. us welcome you guys. Thanks for having me. Yes, enjoy. Neil, yeah. Yes. <laughs>